beautiful people. Welcome to episode five of season two of Canvas Killer Critiques. I'm Canvas, and today we are talking about yet another one of my favorite artists. And um, yeah, there's, there's no cap when I say it this time. <laughs> no shade to all the other artists. But I actually have started to collect um, some of this artist's work because I like this artist's work. I enjoy it so much. And it's, you know, no other than uh, Mr. John Rivas. And um, yeah, what I'll do before I end this video is I'll, I'll show you the pieces of his that I have in my own personal collection. All right. So before I do that, we're going to talk about this piece that's behind me. Um, I believe it is untitled. Uh, I found it by, while digging through um his instagram page and threw some hashtags bearing his name and for the title of this video let's call it uh the fisherman all right so let me minimize myself boom awesome so yeah certainly one of the the main things that I always enjoy about John Rivas's paintings is there like he never <clears throat> excuse me hesitates to put found objects uh especially that are relevant to the scene he's created so these fish that you have that are hanging from this tree actually look like small fish like physical like a physical thing that is attached to whatever he painted on um, and not actually painted on. So I always enjoy those moments because they definitely they feel like um, these little keepsakes. Like They feel like little moments within the, the moment that is the painting. And I think that's a really cool nuance. And I, I even enjoy these X's that are lining the tree. There's a lot of very simplistic shapes and forms that he uses to suggest what it is he's going after, right? So attempting to create the that woven kind of texture that exists on palm trees, you know, is um why I would assume that he put X's there, which I think is really cool. Um he uses a lot of different mediums. All right, so even the top of these trees, which look very shallow, kind of sparse, it looks like it's done in spray paint, right? And then there's this one dark green section that looks like fabric of some sort. And yeah, I always appreciate how he's able to use different... Um, different ways of applying the, whatever medium he's using to the canvas and he he always includes great variety a great variety of textures a great variety of colors um and and a great variety of mediums used to actually apply these things so let's let's zoom out let me find some more of my favorite moments right um i do enjoy this repetition of the color that is both in the shirt of this guy who's on the grill right so there's um this mm, let's call it like a crimson red in his shirt right that also shows up on his very fuzzy leg right <laughs> um that shows up a little bit on the grill and then ultimately also in this this uh this chicken or this rooster right and so moments like that where there's a certain color uh and also a little a little bit here right so i certainly enjoy when there are colors that have some consistency throughout the piece because it allows uh two things that i realize it, it will allow a resting point from in this instance, a lot of the, the light yellow green that's in the background, um, you know, and because it covers such a large area, it's easy to to let your eyes land there more so than anywhere else. And so 
I like what this crimson red is doing and that it, it allows a bit of uh, a resting point from some more of the brighter colors. And um, it's a really great accent. You know what I'm saying? It, it accentuates the ground very well. The ground looks, even the ground, yo, like as I'm looking at it, it looks as though, how can I explain it? Because I, I wouldn't assume that this is set in any other time than like the summer, fall maybe, right? Because he's wearing shorts, um, he's outside, but the grass doesn't look like grass would look in the summer. Right. So I'm thinking maybe like there's too much sun exposure and the, the grass is just like dried out from too much sun and not being watered as opposed to the grass looking how it looks because the weather is cold. Um, yeah, yo, I, I really enjoy just these very mundane moments. You know, it's pretty mundane, you know, for. um for an islander, which is, you know, what this looks like with the trees and him having a, a rooster right next to him, um, you know, to be out grilling, enjoying the, the lay of the land that they have. And I like that. It's it, it, His paintings always feel very candid. You know, they feel very candid. This person wasn't necessarily asking for a photo op. You know what I'm saying? My man's just... My man's got the cigarette in his hand. <laughs> Yo, there's so many little, like, nuanced details that always are, are really enjoyable, you know, when looking at his pieces. And um, I was speaking about the fish earlier that were physically added to the painting. And then you can see that this one on the grill is painted on. Right. So, like I said, his work has a lot of variety of objects that are adhered or, or nailed or stapled to his canvas and then things that he literally paints. And I think that it's a very great balance. It's a great balance. And um, yeah, yo, so shout out to this piece. Um, it has certainly a lot of a lot of texture has a lot of texture, um, and especially in this this crimson color and, and a couple of the browns and oranges and 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 reds that find themselves in here, they they give the painting a lot of warmth, um, along with some of the browns. You know what I'm saying? Outside of the suggested warmth from the grill, I'm, I seem to be getting a lot more warmth from the shirt that this gentleman is wearing, and then these orange these hot orange dots and lines that look like they're done with spray paint that are um to the right of this figure and also this stripe of, of pink and yeah I, I like the balance of seeing this warmth in the grill in the man's clothes um seemingly in his background because it's so bright yellow green that it looks like a lot of sunlight is hitting it and i like how that contrasts with how cool both his shorts are the sleeve of his shirt and the water um and so you know there are certainly moments in this painting that help to balance the other parts um yeah shout out to john rivas man like i said i'm a, I'm a huge uh supporter of this this man's work um, and yeah, this would be a great time for me to show you the pieces of his that I've actually collected. Um, so I'll do that. I got it hanging up right in front of me. So this is a John Rivas painting in the flesh. And similarly, you can see amazing textures, right? They're literally objects that are adhered to the frame this is a frame it's a frame piece there is art and painting on top of the glass as well as underneath the glass you know what i'm saying so um he certainly creates a lot of textures creates a lot of dimension in his pieces uh, i was able to collect this one and i have another one that's um actually actually hanging on my door um i love this uh gentleman's work um phenomenal artist he's very ambitious with the objects that he puts on his paintings 
I enjoy the coarseness that he works with. Uh, the figures end up looking really crude, really crudely drawn, um, really coarse, right? Um, but it, he recreates instances that are very candid and uh, precious. It'll, it'll be precious moments, uh, but done very crudely. And I really enjoy that contrast. So, yes, uh, check out John Rivas. He's a pretty... Uh, secretive isn't the right word uh you have to do some searching to find john rivas his instagram isn't always active um and as an artist i understand and i appreciate that honestly like if you want to find me you gotta find me so shout out to john rivas all the information of his that i can find that will best direct you to his work or his bio or things of that nature where you can support i'll certainly include that in the video description so you can go and check them out for yourself and um yeah phenomenal artist support what he has going on be on the lookout and i'm glad that i could introduce you to uh to another artist he was certainly in last season's roster um uncertain of which episode but certainly um you'll see a similar aesthetic if you want to go back and check out you know what what his work was looking like last year on on these episodes uh so thank you yo this has been another episode of canvas killer critiques i'm canvas we just spoke about john rivas go and check him out and i will see you all for next episode peace